everybody, I'm Miss Lauren and welcome back. Today is our grooming lesson and we like to groom our horses to keep them clean but also before we ride them to make sure that they're comfortable when we're on their backs. So today we're going to go over the brushes and how we use them. And this is Gray. Gray is ready to be brushed. He is standing on the grooming area nice and calm and I want to keep him that way. So I'm going to walk up to him nice and slow at his shoulder so that he's aware that I'm there and not surprised. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over the brush. Now this brush is a little different than what we use usually and this is called a shedding brush and so it's getting warmer outside. Horses start to shed their coat, their winter coat and they have a lot of hair that comes out and this helps get it out so that they can feel better. So what we do is we put it like this and it has these little, not real pointy teeth on it that helps get that loose hair out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gently push, put it on his coat and go like this. And you can start to see the hair that's coming out of him. And we do that all over, okay? Not on his belly and not on his legs, but mostly in this area where all that hair is coming out. Okay, so that's the shedding tool. Next, we're gonna use, does anybody remember what this brush is called? That's right, it's the curry comb. And we use this to do a little bit of the same thing is that we do a circular motion and it loosens up all the dirt and hair that's sitting on him right now. So we do it all over, but right now I'm just going to do it right here. And we definitely want to focus on the back and where the saddle goes before we ride because it's more comfortable for them. But start to look, look at all that hair coming out. It's a lot of hair. So that's the curry comb. Now the next brush, <clears throat> some of you may know it as the dandy brush or the hard brush. It's real stiff. And then some of you may know this one as the soft brush or the slicker brush. So the first one we use, which one do you think we use first? That's right, it's the dandy or the hard brush. And that's, that brush's job is to get all that dirt and hair off of the horse. You see all of it falling down on the ground. And you always want to brush in the direction that the hair is growing. So keep that in mind. If you brush this way, it's not very comfortable for the horse and it doesn't really do its job. So you always want to go the direction the hair is growing. Okay. So we got a lot of that dirt and hair off. We're gonna put this one away. And we're gonna get out the slicker brush. And this is gonna make it nice and smooth and shiny. And it's just a good finishing brush for the horse. His coat nice and smooth and shiny. All right. Next, our horses have these long manes and tails. So this is our tail brush. We're going to walk. Now, safety, again, we're going to let the horse know we're here. And we're going to stand off to the side, but not behind him, not too close. And grab his tail. I usually break it into sections. And I don't want to pull on it, because that would be really hurtful for the horse. But I'm going to go ahead and start to brush gently little sections, starting at the bottom and, like, working my way up. I get all those knots out of his hair. And then you would work your way through the whole tail. Be nice and smooth. Just let the horse know I'm here. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to do his mane like this. And his mane is right here. And I'm going to be on his shoulder so he can see me. Standing a little further away, not getting my feet too close to the horse's feet. In case he moves. 
and I'm just going to go through and gently comb his mane. Okay, and I would finish the whole mane. <laughs> and that's it.